In this video, you will learn which regulatory compliance question on risk assessment can help you self-assess your firm's financial crime systems and controls. So let's get right into today's video. Hi and welcome to FinCrime Agent. This is my YouTube channel where I'm talking about financial crime prevention and anti-money laundering related topics. This video is part of a short tutorial series that I have created on regulatory compliance with insights from the FCA handbook. The aim of these tutorials is to support the professionals working in the financial crime prevention with the assessment of key areas within systems and controls. Today I'm covering risk assessment, so let's bring up some slides to discover what kind of questions can help you understand if your firm is in line with regulatory compliance requirements. Risk assessment in order to have in place the right level of systems and control, it's essential that regulated firms run frequently risk assessments. The risk assessment must allow firms to identify their exposures to areas of financial crime based on their product, geographies, where the firm operates, their customers and customer-driven risks, transaction volume and value, and the overall complexity of the firm. To be in line with regulatory compliance requirement, it is expected that a regulated firm includes into their risk assessment a selection of multiple risk factors, take into consideration multiple information points rather than relying on a single source, ensure the risk assessment is proportionate and in line with the firm's complexity. In addition to the business-wide risk assessment, it is important that a regulated firm also completes periodically a risk assessment specific for its business relationships for an accurate evaluation of financial crime risks escalated to their clients. Some questions to self-assess your compliance to the risk assessment regulatory requirements could be Are the main financial crime risks highlighted in the risk assessment. When was the last risk assessment completed? Are emerging financial crime risks considered? Can you retrieve a proof of their risk sign-off if your firm is going to be audited? Is there a documented process to challenge the risk assessment? Are processes and procedures updated according to the risks identified? And this is the end of my regulatory compliance video on risk assessment. If this tutorial was useful to you, support my channel by subscribing to FinCrime Agent. In the description of the video, you will find the other links for the free parts also recorded on regulatory compliance systems and controls. So that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed and thank you for watching. Until next time, see you soon.